Hi there! Welcome to another After School Tech Tip. My name is Bernice and today we're going to be talking about new appointment schedules in Google Calendar. Now you might have heard about this already, but now appointment slots are completely uh, gone from Google Calendar and they've moved fully over to appointment schedules. So if your appointment slots aren't working anymore, all you have to do is create a new appointment schedule and so we'll walk you through this process today. And they're really, really good for setting up one-on-ones, room bookings, parent-teacher interview booking systems, and more. So if you're interested, watch this video to see how it's done. And if you um, are looking for more tips like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check back for weekly videos, and connect with your tips member. All right, so as you can see here, we have our Google Calendar. And the first tip I'm going to say is to go ahead and create a new calendar for your appointment schedule. So on the left hand sidebar here, where it says other calendars, click the plus hand side, uh, the plus sign, and then click to create new calendar. You can now make your appointment schedule calendar. And in this case here, I'm going to put library booking. Now, if you already do have a calendar for this, of course, skip this step and move over to step two. All right. Now, um, once your this calendar is already created, you can head back here. Please don't forget to refresh the page um, because when you refresh the page, that's going to be really important in order to make sure that that calendar now shows up when you go to set up your appointment schedule. So that brings me into step two. You can go ahead and start creating the appointment schedule. Click wherever you want the appointment schedule to be and then you can go to appointment schedule here on the right hand side. You can go ahead and change the calendar now to the one that you want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to choose my library booking and I'm going to go ahead and call it library room number one. And so from here, I'm going to go ahead and set up the schedule. And this is going to bring me into a place where I can customize my booking appointment schedule. So as I come to customize this, we can see I can change the appointment duration. Um, I can also do my general availability. So you can set this up to not repeat at all. So it can just be that one time. It can repeat weekly. It can be customized to repeat you know, every Friday or it could repeat um, every two weeks or every month, whatever it is that works best for you. And so for this example here, we're going to pretend that um, this is going to be bookable from 10 to 5 um, on the Monday and then Wednesday from 9 to 5. So we have our schedules kind of set up right there. As well, you have an ability to customize the scheduling window. You can see the maximum time in advance an appointment can be booked. Um, if you want people to be able to book that far in advance, you can go ahead and uncheck that. Uh, notice that you can also change the dates if you do need to change any dates. And then here we also have the minimum time before the appointment starts that it can be booked. So if you want to restrict that, you can go ahead and keep that on or change the number of hours or uncheck that. Finally, you can see here with the adjusted availability, this one here is great for if you have you know, one or two days where it's not following the usual schedule. So say for example, um, the 27th is actually booked up for the afternoon already. What I can do is I can click November 27th and I can change this so that it's only set for 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And you'll notice the appointment schedule now has changed so that you can only book for those hours. What, whereas when I move over to the next week, you'll see it jump right back to the nine to five. So you're changing the availability for just that one specific date. Um, if you wanted to do more, you can add a second one by clicking this plus button and then continuing adding all the ones where um, it's going to be a different availability. As well, under booked appointment settings, you can also change buffer time. So you can add, for example, 10 minutes between each appointment slot. You can also set up a maximum number of bookings per day, and you can change guest permissions as well. For the calendar, if you need to change calendars, you can go ahead and do that. In this case, I've already set it up for the library booking. And you can see here, um, you can either check or uncheck it to make sure that the bookable times are not available during any events that are already on the library booking calendar. I like to keep this on because then what you can do is set up um, events already on the booking calendar and that will automatically make it so that people can't book on top of those events. And 
Of course, here we have the ability to add co-hosts as well to these slots. So um, the co-host will be able to help manage the appointments uh, schedule as well. If I click Next now, you can go ahead and set up the location and conferencing. So if it's an in-person meeting, you can put the information in there and add that location. Or you can just set it up for a Google Meet video conference as well. Um, you can add a description if you would like. And then this brings me into my next tip, which is our booking form. So for the booking form, you can customize whatever information you want in there. First name, last name, and email address is set up, but you can customize and add an item. And you can add a custom item. So for example, you can do a description of why you are booking. Um, and that could be an item that could be optional, or you can check that off to make that a required item. Say you want, for example, um, the class name. Uh, that could also be a piece, and then we could add that as well, and that would be all part of the booking form. Last but not least here, you can see the booking confirmations and reminders. You can set up email reminders to automatically send a e reminder email before the appointment. You can do it for multiple um, email reminders. So you can do a day before. I can add another one for 30 minutes before, um, and then go from there. Once you're done with that all, you can go ahead and click Save and your appointment schedule is completed. So if you do want to preview your booking page at all, you can go ahead and click open booking page. Um, and once you click on that, you will see the booking page and you can jump to the available dates that exist to be able to see which dates then you can go ahead and times that you can book. You'll notice when you click on it that um, the booking form that I talked about earlier that we customized is there and you can put that information right in. Now, that brings me then into my last tip, which is sharing this schedule. So you can go ahead and click the share button, and that's going to give you two different options for sharing the booking page. You can do um, a booking page link, and you can copy that link and send them that link. An alternative is a website embed. And so what you can do is you can set up either a button with a pop-up or an inline booking page. Um, and whichever one you want, you can go ahead then and with this code here, I can go ahead and copy the code. I can head into any site. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use a Google site so you can see what that looks like. And I'm going to click the embed button. Um, that's just right on the sidebar here um, on the right hand side. And so when I click on the embed button, I can click on embed code. I can paste that HTML code in there, press next. And then you'll see a quick um, example of what you're going to see. I can click insert and there you go. You have your appointment schedule and when you publish this Google site, um, that's going to be there for them to be able to book right in there. And that's it. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a wonderful day. Take care.